What is going on everybody? My name is Mr. Relics. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can stream your PS4 using OBS, Streamlabs, um, whatever streaming software you want to use. And just to prove it, yes, I am on my PS4. I do not have a capture card. This is done via a different method and I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. Okay, so the reason why I needed to do this myself, why I needed to be able to stream my PS4 and have it on OBS is because my graphics card and my computer broke. So if we have a look at what I'm actually currently running, I'm just using the Intel Ultra HD graphics, the integrated graphics that's within the CPU. So playing games that I actually want to play is kind of a no-go. But luckily I have a PS4, so I'm able to play the games, but I wanted to put that over onto my stream and this is how we're going to do it. All you need to do is Google it, PlayStation Remote Play for PC. Go down and press download the PS Play Remote app. You can do this for a PS5, you can do this for a PS4. Both work exactly the same. If you're on a Mac, then literally just uh, download Mac. If you're on Windows, download Windows. Now before you install PS4 Remote Play, you're going to want to go to your settings in your PS4. So we're going to go to settings and we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says remote play connection settings and you want to enable remote play when you're setting it up it might ask you for a code if it does you're just going to press add device and a code will appear that's what you type in on the computer once you've installed it you need to sign in with your playstation id it's then going to ask you which console you want to connect to so in my case it's the playstation 4 and it's then going to, it's then going to search um, for the internet to see whether or not you can find your playstation if it can't you're just going to press link manually or this pop-up will come up and you just press enter number okay so once you've done that and you've logged in you should see something that looks a lot like this now what you're going to want to do is you need to plug your actual PlayStation controller into your PC using a cable and then you'll be able to control what's on your actual PC but what we're going to want to do is now we're going to move this and pull it onto OBS so let's see how we do that okay so we're going to open OBS studio and what we're going to need to do first is create a scene where we want our gameplay to show up now I always create nested scenes entirely up to you how you want to do this uh, so I created a nested scene called game and I added in a window capture uh, and I called it remote play if we go into that I then selected the window remote play now something that you will probably need to do when you connect this is if you have remote play open make sure that you do not minimize it don't do this because if you do it's not going to it's not going to update so i'm moving my controller right now but you can't see it because the window is minimized so if i go back to it i'll open it up and i'm going to move move around and it now works 100%. So if you find the issue where it's not picking up the display, it's because you probably minimized it. And then once you've done that, you can then move that display. You can add that as a source in your main scene. Add your overlays, add your alerts, and there you go. That's how you make your PS4 appear on your OBS stream with zero lag. Look, I'm, I'm doing this in real time zero lag it's absolutely fantastic i was streaming with this yesterday and it was beyond perfect i really hope this helps you out if it does make sure you give me a like on the video down below hit subscribe if you're new here and i will see you in the next video take it easy